Hey guys, Woods Farm here, Project 222, uh, Scout Car. This is episode 19. Um, yesterday, when I was working on that giant plate and doing patterning, um, I noticed something in one of the photographs I took uh, that there is a little bit of an issue with the angles on the front nose. Um, obviously, this vehicle isn't an exact replica. A lot of you guys that have been watching this uh, know that. We've had to rescale and reproportion stuff. Um, most of that was to work with the frame that we were using. Um, so yeah, we put a lot of work into trying to get everything lined up and just right, uh, but uh, obviously we made a slight little mistake. And of course, on the vehicle, there's little mistakes here or there. It's just a matter of where things are more noticeable than in other places. Um, I think that nose needs to be fixed. It's gonna, you definitely see it when you look straight at it and it's not something that's gonna get really covered up with uh, you know, toolboxes and accessories. So I'm gonna take the time in this episode to work on making adjustments to that nose. So um, in one of the photographs I took yesterday when I was working on that uh, big steel plate, I noticed that there was a slight issue with the nose. Um, now, some of you are aware uh, that we had to you know, adjust the dimensions. This isn't an exact copy. Um, so some of the proportions and dimensions and angles aren't perfect. Um, that was mostly done to deal with the frame that we were using. Um, the frame we have is a lot wider than the original frame, so we had to play around with that. Um, we also worked on the, the skeleton and the, this, that structure because we noticed um, that the original builders had actually made it way too high. Um, so again, we scaled it down, try to get that height um, closer to the original. Uh, that said, uh, mistakes happen, and I noticed that two of the angles on the front um, are off on that front nose, and I think when I get those plates on, it'd be pretty noticeable. So um, obviously I've started on one side already, and I've got that side plate mounted, but uh, so I'm kind of stuck with the angle on the one side, which is fine. However, what I can do is I can adjust that kind of angle on the other side to try to match up. Uh, and yeah, obviously the vehicle's never gonna be perfect. Um, a lot of the angles from side to side, we were getting within like a degree when we were measuring them. Um, we felt like that margin of error was, was okay. But here's one of the spots where I picked up and it's just out a little bit. Just with the naked eye, if you look at it at the right angle, you can kind of see that mistake. So I think in this episode, I'm gonna take the time. It's gonna be a little finicky, maybe a bit frustrating, but I'm gonna to try to adjust that passenger side and get it uh, looking a little better. That way, when I cut the nose plates and the front hood, you know, everything lines up just right. Thought I'd try the big grinder. Uh, not very often I pull this thing out. Okay, so in the past with this project, I've noticed that one of the tricky things is often a lack of reference points. So I did measure this top bar and uh, I felt like it was definitely low. And obviously this, this angle here doesn't match the other side. So just in an effort to have more places to measure from, uh, I've clamped on this bar that goes across the frame and uh, I measured back from the axles and I have this kind of as squared up as I possibly can and it gives me kind of a more accurate way to measure up to this top bar and I confirmed that it was you know at least half an inch low and it's an extremely it's a very narrow point so that's going to make a huge difference um, 
I checked a lot of these. Um, this corner here needs to scooch out about a quarter inch. Um, and the distance from the center, um, again, I'm going to be mirroring this side, so again, this needs to push out and up. And uh, I am going to make a cardboard template of that angle after I uh, level that top bar. I'll know what that angle is there, and then I can play around with replicating it on this side. So I've got a plan. Um, I'm going to have to cut these welds here, here. Um, I think the idea is I'm going to cut into this weld, but just to, for probably the, the underside, but I'm going to leave a little bit of material and it'll allow me to kind of move this, this bar. Um, this lower bar, I'm going to cut it, cut it out right now. I don't need it. Um, I'm going to keep this bar, and I'm going to, I'm going to assume that this point is good, and more or less that top point is good. But once I deal with the front, I'm going to check everything heading back, and I might have to make some adjustments there. But I, uh, I check this angle here. And it is pretty close to bang on on the other side. So, a little bit more measuring and figuring, and hopefully, I can get to adjusting this so it everything kind of looks symmetrical. That's really the goal. It's not actually replicating the dimensions of the original, but it's getting the symmetry there and it's getting kind of the proportions right and the angles close so we have a pretty good representation I'm just glad I caught this because it would affect this plate here um, it's gonna affect the hood probably not a lot I don't think but a little bit and obviously the nose plate as well it's gonna affect that so before I go cut that material I'm gonna definitely get this sorted out okay so it's time-consuming work but it's going well um, I feel like everything's gonna work out um, this bar has a lot of play in it I can move it up and out significantly and what I did is I just cut out that complete angled piece I cut this piece off and uh, I've reattached another new clean piece and I've added a good solid inch and a half, maybe two inches on the end. And then this piece was going to be way too short and uh, it was already welded and, and all, all messed up. So I basically cut off uh, a section and I'm just scabbing on a new section here. Um, the, again, gives me a couple extra inches of overhang. So I'm going to weld this and I've got it clamped on a piece of angle and I'm being real careful to try to keep it uh, straight and then I've gone over and see I've zip cut this here and uh, that's going to allow me to bend this up so I think step one is getting the getting this top bar uh, level and true and then it shouldn't be too difficult to copy the angle to copy that angle over onto the other side So we're getting there, I've just got some things tacked in place. That angle right there, that top angle, is virtually identical to that angle. Um, I've got the angle finder and I've got the cardboard template and it's, it's way closer than it was. 
Now I just need to reposition this angle here and the length of this bar, I just measured it, it is very close the edge of this to the edge on that side. So it means that this this is pushed back about half an inch. So I'm gonna, I don't think I need this support anymore. That was temporary. I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna see if I can nudge this forward just a bit. I don't have it actually, I've got one tack there and two on the other side. I might cut that one, just see if I can get it to, to scooch up. And then I will tack it down. I'll check all these center measurements. I've got the, the center line mark there. So it should be an equal distance from here to there. It should be pretty close. Okay, so I've got that front support uh, fixed. The angles are matching kind of hard to tell it's really abstract but uh, we're a heck of a lot closer now started checking other angles and uh, I tweak this piece just a little little bit um, I've got it more in line with the bottom edge of the body and that angle there right there that's uh, it matches the other side much closer now. It was out by a few degrees. So I'm checking different spots and uh, so far everything else looking pretty good. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Um, at this point, we're working pretty hard and I'm actually getting more footage than I can really deal with. Um, I did hopefully correct most of the issues that we found with the nose and the hood area. Um, obviously it's not perfect, but at this point, I think we're just going to have to, uh, go forward. Um, definitely learned a lot and have ideas of how I would do it differently next time to try to avoid some of these problems. Um, that said, we're going to be moving on to episode 20 and, uh, I think I'm going to try a different video format. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see more videos of Project 222 and the Woods Farm, uh, definitely make sure to like and subscribe and uh, click the bell for notifications. Um, I'm going to be posting videos almost weekly now as we continue to work on the project through the winter. As always, thanks for watching.